Hello, this is Nick with Frontier Precision, and today I wanted to review what's new in Trimble Perspective 2024. Let's get into it. Trimble released a new logo for Perspective 2024, as well as a new splash screen when you launch the software. The new limit box replaces the traditional slice tool that was available in previous versions of Trimble Perspective. The limit box tool is located on the bottom right corner of the screen. When the limit box is activated, you will see a gray circle on the limit box bounding limits. Simply press down on the circle and either push or pull to adjust the limits of the box. You can now export LAS files utilizing the new limit box extraction command. This allows you to create an LAS file of the point cloud isolated to what is visible inside your limit box. This is especially helpful if you want to export a smaller area of interest in an industry standard file format that many third-party softwares can import. The Refine Registration Sets feature allows you to generate the residuals and overlap of each registration set independently of the other sets. This is an incredibly helpful tool in scenarios where you may be scanning multiple floors or an interior and exterior of a structure. The Slope Measurement tool allows you to quickly select points in the point cloud and display the slope percentage on the screen. You can see in the video example, two points were selected on a handicap ramp to display the slope, as well as the cross slope of the sidewalk for a quick verification. Finally, the improved registration-based report now provides a more accurate overlapping percentage of scans that are in common. The previous reports, as shown, did not accurately reflect the overlapping percentages correctly since it did not omit scans that had very little overlap. The new report only includes scans with sufficient overlapping percentages and results in much more reliable links between scans. Now that I've gone over what's new with Perspective, I want to review how to update your tablet and scanner to the latest firmware. To begin, you'll have to have Trimble Installation Manager installed on your tablet. If you do not have Trimble Installation Manager installed on your tablet, you can download it from install.trimble.com. We'll first start with updating the firmware of the tablet. This will be the same workflow for all tablets, whether you are using a T10, T10X, or T100. Launch Trimble Installation Manager on the tablet and click the Controller tab, then select Trimble Perspective. Click the version pull-down arrow in the upper right-hand corner. Choose the latest version of the firmware and click Install. This will launch the Install dialog box. Click Next when prompted to start the install of the software. Once the update is complete, click Finish on the dialog box and Finish in Trimble Installation Manager. This will close Trimble Installation Manager. Next, we will update the firmware of the scanner. I'll be using an X9, but the workflow for the X7 is the same. First, ensure that you have a fully charged battery in the instrument. Turn the instrument on by pressing the on-off button on the side of the instrument. Launch Trimble Installation Manager on your tablet and click the Optical and Scanning tab, and select the type of scanner you will be updating. Ensure that the Trimble X9 Firmware Upgrade Tool option is selected. Click the version pull-down arrow in the upper right-hand corner. Choose the latest version of the firmware and click Install. Once installed, the Trimble X9 Firmware Upgrade Tool dialog box will appear. In order to update the firmware on the scanner, you must be connected to it. You can connect via Wi-Fi or via the USB cable that's included with the scanner. Select what way you'd like to connect on the top of the screen. If connecting via Wi-Fi, use the drop-down menu to select your instrument and click Connect. If you connect via USB, the connection is automatic. Once connected to the scanner, the X9 firmware update tool will launch and you may get this security prompt. If you do, just click Allow, then click Update. Do not turn off the scanner while it is updating. Once the firmware update tool says Update Successful, you can click Close and click Finish in Trimble Installation Manager. This will close Trimble Installation Manager. Now your tablet and scanner are both on the latest versions of firmware and you can begin scanning. Thanks for watching.